Hello, I am Dr. Brian Loftus and I'm a neurologist in private practice, member of the American Headache Society, and the Chief Medical Officer of Better QOL. iHeadache is our first in a line of products that will collect data from patients and present it to physicians in a form that improves patient care while increasing physician efficiency. iHeadache is currently available for the iPhone, the iPod Touch, and the BlackBerry line of smartphones iHeadache is unique among headache diary software in that it records patient symptoms and medication used and applies IHS criteria to determine headache type. In addition, it captures disability data in real time for both a more accurate MIDAS score as well as total and partial patient disability time. No other electronic diary on any platform currently captures this data. I'm using an iPhone to demonstrate the app to you today but the features are essentially the same whether you are using an iPhone, iPod Touch, or BlackBerry device. Generally, when I see a patient, I have them hand me their smartphone or iPod Touch and I look at the report on the screen. You can also choose to have the patients email you the reports or the patient could email the report to themselves and print it out and bring it to you on paper. Tap on I Headache to open it. Tap on Report. I see my typical complex migraine patients when I am adjusting their preventatives on a four-week cycle. Therefore, I typically break my reports by 28 days. If I see them less frequently, then I generally break my reports by calendar months. I am going to scroll down towards an earlier part of the report before their headaches came into such good control. For patients with frequent headaches, I have them start a new headache on any calendar day with pain. In this way, my report shows me the number of headache days and how many of these days met specific criteria for migraine, probable migraine, tension headache, or are still unclassified. Eye headache does not track cluster headaches at this time. This data can confirm the diagnosis of chronic daily headache, chronic migraine, etc. Medication usage, along with the number of headaches for which the medications are used, is also displayed. This can be used to quickly identify which patients are potentially receiving medications frequently enough to cause rebound headaches. Disability time for the time frame is next presented. Since the goal in our patients is to reduce disability, this is very helpful data. The MIDAS scale is calculated at the end of the time frame. If the total log is between 30 and 90 days, the data is extrapolated. If less than 30 days of data is available, then no MIDAS scale is calculated at all. If you have more than 90 days, then the MIDAS scale is, of course, the last 90 days from the end of the report time frame. If your patient is tracking any triggers, then the number of headaches where a trigger was identified is listed. Trigger tracking is not currently available on the BlackBerry version and is the only real difference between the BlackBerry and iPhone and iPod Touch versions of the software. Patients may also enter notes in each headache that is displayed in the report. This gives the patient a chance to express something about the he their headache if they so desire. This also allows you to tell patients some specific customized piece of data that you would like them to capture. There are also a couple of preferences that you may want to know about. If an individual headache meets criteria for both probable migraine or tension headache, you can choose which type of headache you prefer the app reports. Also, in usability testing, we found that patients are not very good at entering when a headache stops. Therefore, we have a preference regarding how to apply time rules to determine IHS criteria for individual headaches. You can decide to use the duration if they enter it, ignore the duration, or require the duration. Of course, if a headache would otherwise meet IHS criteria for migraine and the patient took a triptan, then the duration time is ignored. I hope you have seen how easy it is to use eye headache from a physician perspective. It really makes the office visits go easier and I know I have excellent data to work from. The eye headache app is currently used by over 1,000 patients and is currently rated 4 stars out of 5 on the Apple App Store. This is a very high rating and reinforces my own patient feedback as to how well the app is accepted by the patients. Hope you will use this in your practice. I value all feedback from colleagues and please feel free to call or email me with any suggestions. Thank you.